Luis, Connor, what's going on, guys? My name's Chris Taylor. I'm the, the social media manager for Marcus Theaters. Hi, how are you, man? I'm great. How are you guys? Doing well. Doing well. Big congratulations. Uh, you know, Half Brothers is coming out soon into theaters. And, uh, you know, man, I got to see the film. And um, I was saying this to Luke earlier. I am pleasantly surprised and shocked um, at how different um, and much more deep the film is compared to, I think, what people see in the trailer uh, and from the poster. Um, I'd love to get you guys' thoughts on that and, and you know, how the film meant to you, you know, like that message, how it resonated with you. That's great. That's that's great to hear. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we, we always wanted to do a comedy, uh, but we wanted to do a comedy and also speak about really important themes for us, for, for the writers and the producers. We wanted to talk about, of course, relationships between fathers and sons, but we also wanted to talk about empathy and we want to create these characters as vehicles to talk about Mexico and the United States, you know, like each character represents one country and we wanted to talk about the differences between us, but also and most important about why are we not so different and why are we in a way half brothers too uh, and also portrayed in a different way with dignity and with respect the immigration thing so if you yeah. think about that that's really complex and that's a lot yeah. of art but we you know like we did a really beautiful package about comedy and laughs and when the people is laughing and they have their mouths open we want to put a spoon of truth in their mouth. So I don't know, I hope I hope we succeed. Yeah, there's nothing, I mean, I love that you said that about the trailer, that when you watch the movie, you're all of a sudden like, oh, huh? what? Uh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, that's my favorite, anytime I even, you know, I like to write my own projects and anytime I'm writing, one of my favorite things to do, when I discuss with my writing partner is surprising your audience, you know? Throwing something out of left field that catches them off guard and. Uh, makes them feel something different. They're like, I didn't think I was getting into that when I saw this, um, but it's important, you know? And we have just every day about how to juggle the drama and the comedy in this movie, because it is it is kind of a tightrope of where you go and how much you lean to each side. But I think we nailed it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, I was, it was such a, a I think rewarding feeling is probably the best way I can explain it as I'm watching the film, um, uh, you know, and Luis, I think you hit the nail on the head too. Like both you guys are such, both your characters are so uniquely different, like in great ways and in bad ways, right? I mean, like you're flawed characters, right? But like, without getting, I guess, too existential, I, I think it's, it gives me hope that, you know, two countries, you know, the people who represent the countries, right? You know, the US and Mexico, that there's hope that, you know, we can see each other as brothers or sisters and, you know, love each other for our flaws and, <laughs> you know, help uh, help rescue the goat, as it were, uh, you know, without, <laughs> without giving too much uh, secret sauce behind the film away. But um, yeah, exactly. The, the, the goat represents uh, world peace. Absolutely. Yeah, the moment where, you know, it's that moment through the window right there, you know, I'm going to find, find um, world, world peace. Yeah. Exactly. I'm with you. Uh, well, just really quick, we have only a, a few more moments um, to go, and I know you guys have a million a million interviewers after this. Um, anything you guys would like to say to uh, the Marcus Theater moviegoer? Just go and watch the film. I think we had a really, really uh, horrible year. So if we can help you guys to have two hours of laughs and fun, um, we are going to be happier when we go to bed in a couple of months. Amen to that. I'll say the same thing. Just, I know it's been a tough year, everybody. And if you want to just have a nice distraction for 90 minutes, warmth, feeling, love, humor, check out Half Brothers. I promise you won't regret it. I love it. Love the sound bite. That's even better. Luis, Connor, thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Congratulations on your film. Uh, I'm so, I'm, I'm very thankful that I, I got to see it. Um, and it, it's something that a message that will stay with me for quite some time. So I appreciate you both. Congratulations and nothing but blessings and good fortune for you going forward. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Cheers. Well, Thanks, guys. Doing well. You know, you have a baseball name. You have like a major league player, like Chris Taylor up to the Yeah, uh, from the LA Dodgers, is that right? Oh, 
his actual name? I had no I, idea. There is, yeah. And it's it's funny. I'm a big soccer guy. I'm a football guy. So there's a, a, a Scottish player who has the name Chris Taylor. Uh, too bad, you know, I don't pull down his paycheck. But what can you say? All right, man. You're still a good person. Before, before we get kicking off, guys, I have to say, uh, I love the fact that you both kept your beards. Uh, some more than <laughs> others, you know, have kind of kept them down. But, you know, I love it from one bearded guy to another. Uh, I always got to call them out on these interviews. So kudos to you guys.